Hey guys, um, as you guys know, I own Carolina Legacy Miniature Schnauzers, and I have puppies right now, and they're getting ready to go home soon. So I'm going to be making snuffle mats um, that can go home with each puppy. So right here, um, I'm just showing you the back of this one. This is the first one I made. Um, as you can see, I just used two colors, one going one way and the other going the other. Um, you're going to need approximately 132 of one color and 130 of the other color. <laughs> you're going to need a sink mat from Dollar Tree. And you're going to need a ruler. And you're going to need scissors or a rotary cutter like this. Um, if you have hand issues like I do, so my hands get tired easily. And the rotary cutter comes in handy. And then you're just going to need your fleece, whatever color you want. Um, you're going to cut uh, eight inch strips about an inch wide. They don't have to be perfect. Um, but you do want to make sure your stretch is cut um, lengthwise and not, um, well, the eight inch wise, you want to cut your, uh, the non-stretch side that way instead of your inch cut. Um, I promise you, you'll, it stretches if you don't. And it kind of makes the piece kind of look funny once you tie them on. But um, here, all I'm going to do, um, it, this is the sock monkey one that I made. And I actually end up using four colors in it. So bear with me. <laughs> um, I just thought I'd try one with four colors instead of two colors. And then it, it gets a little hard. So, because some of the colors look alike. And I had to go back and make sure I had every hole done. <laughs> But um, anyway, all you're going to do here is you're going to start in your first two holes. And you're just going to tie a knot. And you just tie it tight. Just make sure you tie them tight. And then you're going to take your next piece. Um, I think I use red. I think is my next. No, did I? No, I use red. I know I do. <laughs> I use red as my next color, and you're going to go right up in beside where you tied that knot. Just pull it straight up through, and then just pull it up through the next hole, and tie your knot. And just get your next color. Or or if you're doing solid colors, you're going to go with one solid color all the way down um, one row. And then you're going to swap up and do your next color your second row. But here I'm alternating colors. Um, I do the sock monkey red and then the camel color. And then as my fourth color, I go the opposite way and do gray. So I'm going to go ahead and finish out this row. And... Yep, I'm going to go ahead and finish all that out right there, and then I'll come back uh, once I get some of this done and show you where I'm at. For good measure, I'll show you one more here. So I'm doing the sock monkey color. And then the red color. And the beige color. Alrighty, now you can see that I've got that started just like that. I'm going to go ahead and finish this out, and I'll be back. Alrighty, here it is. 
with all the uh, three colors on. And then I'm going to pull up my gray here in just a second. Alrighty, I finally figured out I was going to use the gray. <laughs> and so I go back in on the opposite sides. And I go ahead and run my gray all the way around through the, um, the opposite. It, they'll be laying the opposite way. Okay, here I'm just deciding whether I wanted to do that gray or not and maybe go back in with brown. But I did ultimately decide to do the gray. Um, the one gray piece I had put in there to begin with, the stretch was going the wrong way. And so I decided to go ahead and cut a whole different uh, piece for that. So here you see me figuring out where, which way my stretch is going to go. And like I said, you want to cut your stretch um, when you do your 8-inch piece. You want your stretch, when you pull it from it from the 8 inch ends, you don't want it to stretch. So, the 1 inch way should have your stretch. And your 8 inch full piece, if you pull it from the 8 inch end to end, should not have any stretch. Hope that makes sense. Alrighty, now we're just going to cut that selvage off, and we're just going to uh, cut with my rotary. We're going to do the one inch cuts. All right, so now you can see here where I'm showing you the opposite way. See all those open holes right there at the top? That's your opposite side, and you're just going to run those gray ones all the way across that top part there. It'll actually go in between each row as you go down.
Alrighty. Now that we've gotten all that in there, here the sock monkey one is with all its gray and all the other colors in it. It's really pretty, but it was kind of hard to do um, trying to keep those camel and the sock monkey color apart um, because from the bottom they look alike. So, <laughs> but I really do like it. It did turn out right pretty. But now we've got to make more, guys. So bear with me. We're going to make more, and I'll show them to you. Here's a pretty one that's blue and um, and yellow. And then the next one is um, Pioneer Woman uh, fleece. And then I use some of the red in there as well. And yeah, it was just a Pioneer Woman and the red fleece. And then of course the sock monkey one that we made together. And then the blue and gray one there. Alrighty guys, well I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, subscribe, and share.